that, isn't that lovely? This is Clevedon Pier, and um, I was here a few months ago, and I went to go on the pier to take some long exposure shots with my DSLR and tripod and everything. Anyway, I went to go through to pay, and they stopped me. They said, you can't take tripods on here. And I said, why? What's, what's the problem? They said, well, that's the mark of a professional. You have to pay extra. I was like, what? So um, I said, well, I'm not a professional. And just because I own a tripod, of course, doesn't make me a professional. So I thought, I'm going to try and get my revenge. So I've come back a few months later, and I'm going to try and get back on again. This time, I've got this small man photo tripod. So I'm going to go in my bag, and I'm going to try and sneak it on. And same again, I'm going to get my DSLR out and try and get some long exposure shots. I don't think the clouds are the best today. They're not moving that much, so they might not get anything good. First time I've ever been on it, actually. It's a nice calm day as well. Some days have come and it's been so windy we haven't bothered attempting to go on. This here is like the classic view. If I turn the camera around, you'll see. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful. This is where a lot of photographs would be taken from, I imagine. So it's quite quiet at the moment. I don't know if to walk out to the end, have a look, and then come back. I don't know. So I might get my camera out now. Cool. So tell you what, it's a bit windy. On the shore, it's very calm. Now, when I took my drone up earlier, a few times it seemed to go a bit strange, and I can see why now. It's obviously a lot more windy out here. Right, let's set up. Right. Shh. That's what I'm going to do now. As quickly try and get on my DSLR and get some pictures while it's quiet. Right. Could you keep an eye out for me, please? Thank you. And my DSLR is quite a heavy DSLR, so I'm hoping it will hold it. It's a really good tripod, actually. So I'm hoping it will be okay. First, I'm just going to set the exposure up. I'm going to put it on manual actually because I'm going to put the 10-stop filter on. So, first thing I want to do is uh, focus. Go on. All right. What I'm doing is focusing about a third into the scene. Try and get the camera as low as I can to the ground. The water don't drop nothing through. There's big gaps in the boards in there. Clouds are very slow, so it's probably not going to be very good. Okay, that's about 15 seconds. Ooh, white it out, not good. About 12 seconds. That's not too bad. Not much movement in the clouds, though. A bit skew with. That's the trouble now, I've got the 10 stop on, so I can't see the live image, I'm guessing there. Back again. I think it's better when it's been raining, to be honest. The boards will be nice and slippery and wet and just shiny. Uh, right. It's quite a walk up this pier, actually. It's longer than I thought. From back on the land, it doesn't look that far out, but it's a fair old way. Okay, so it's near the end of the pier now. I'm just going to try a few shots of that tower a bit there and see what we get. Let's just take this off. I'm taking the ND filter off to, so I can recompose. There's <laughs> people coming down, so I'm going to have to go a bit careful. And something like that. Just take a quick shot of it. Oh man, yeah. And then, just checking for sharpness. 
is the amount of times I've taken photos over the years, get home, put them on the computer, and they're all out of focus. Right, that looks okay. Ten stop, I need to go. Where are you? Yeah. I'm trying to get some blur into the clouds, but they're not really moving that much. Need a bit more of a blustery day, really. Oh, you can see the sea right through there. I don't like that. Bit disappointing, to be honest. It doesn't even look like um, anything's happening. Never mind. It's still fun to try though. And here we are, end of the pier. This is rather nice. I think you can go upstairs on this thing as well. Let's have a look. Oh, I smell coffee. Mm. Oh, there's a little cafe. That's rather nice. That's good. Nice little cafe at the end. I sit and have a cup of tea, especially when it's raining and windy. And here at the end of the pier, there's a little plaque showing what's in different directions. The two Severn bridges up there. Over in that direction is the Sugarloaf in Wales, which we've been up. Uh, what else have we got? Got the Wenvo TV mast somewhere. There it is, yep. Cardiff. And the two islands of Steepholm and Flatholm. And slightly to the right of Steepholm. Here's the highest point of Axmoor, uh, Dunkery Beacon, which we've also been at. Ah, there's a little bit down there as well. Blimey. Ah, what's this? In commemoration of the centenary of the 1918 armistice and in recognition of the brave men and women from Clevedon who served their country during the First World War, 208 of whom gave their lives. A nice little out into the pier anyway, I must say. It went bad for £3.30 and uh, I took some photos, but I'm not sure what they'd be like. The clouds weren't at their best, really. Need more, definitely need more um, movement in the clouds to get your best shots on those long exposures. A little tripod performed really well. I was just really pleased with that little man for a tripod. 